Hey guys, it's kind of freaks coming back going for my third attempt on recording this review. The first time, my camera, my little video camera, ran out of battery. My second time, the computer ran out of battery, and this is my and I've had to restart again. So hopefully, three times the charm will get it this time. So I'm just gonna hey, enough of the jibber jabber. Uh, this is Vintage Collection figure number 24, otherwise known as otherwise known as Woof. Um, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um. Let's move the figure to the side and take a look at the card. Uh, it's a normal uh, vintage collection card. You know, they got the picture of the character. You know, they got the color to go with. You got the name. You got the movie it's from. And you got the Boba, free Boba Fett sticker. Well, which I have now decided to actually mail away for and get to put with some uh, Empire Strikes Back life. So I have to make a little bit of extra room. And it's got the normal Kenner logo. Um... Um, it's got, you know, the description on the back, which you can watch, you know, like, my first Vintage Collection review. You can, it's the same on every single card. Um, it's got the picture of the original figure, which was not actually called Woof, it was called Klaatu. K-L-A-A-T-U. So I thought that was kind of funny how they changed the name. I don't know, I don't remember why, really. Um, and then there's the, um, uh, uh, um, uh, canceled figure, one of the canceled figures from the wave, which was Yoda. Was canceled from the wave earlier, which was a little bit disappointing because you know I was really looking forward to Yoda, and also uh, Wedge Antilles was canceled, yeah. and those were the two two of the figures I was really 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 looking forward to. Um, so that stinks that my two figures I was looking forward to were canceled. Um, that, that's and that was really the main reason I was, that was really the main reason why I couldn't wait for Return of the Jedi. Um, so let's move on with the weapons. It's got the little spear and a little spear dagger thing. Uh, from, you know, like all the people on the sail barge carry. And it's got the little standard pistol. Um, and also about the pistol with the figure, it's got a little holster, so it's a good place to put it for collectors. Um, or just a kid, you know, redoing the, um, or acting out Return of the Jedi. Um, um, so we got, you know, the, you know, they got little cloths, cape on the waist. Uh, we got the little knight. It's all everything's completely. Oops, very very nicely detailed. Helmet can come off like uh, some of the figures now. Um, I'm not gonna go through the articulation because you know articulation is you no know, for this figure is pretty much normal. You know the elbows, shoulders, the swivel wrists, the bendable. Oh, here we go. I uh, might as well do it. <laughs> the, el the knees bend, the feet bend, the legs can move around, the waist can spin. The head can rotate 360. Um, so I just did what I said I was not going to do in this review, which was the articulation. Um, to me, this figure is really not appealing. Um, that's just one of the. Six. Before I move on, I apologize for the noise in, my, in the background. That's my mother. She's, I think she's just trying to make me look good or something. I don't know what. So I was trying to get my videos. But I'm, uh,. I'm not saying she's. No, I'm just not gonna talk about it. Um, but I think what Hasbro could have done was put an Imperial in this wave. There's not one darn Imperial. They have the they have the Gamorrean Guard. They have Admiral Akbar. They have Luke Skywalker. They've got Wicket. They've got this guy. They've got uh, R2D2 and R2D2. And I think that's it. I believe so. Yes. Um. Uh, but not one Imperial. That was really surprising to me, you know, hey, it's Return of the Jedi. It's the Empire's final move. Put an Imperial in this wave. What's wrong with Hasbro? Come on, I'm not saying, you know, it's a bad idea, you know, it was a bad idea from the start. I'm not saying, you know, they, I'm not saying I'm not mad at them or anything, but I think they could have used an Imperial in this wave, you know. Hello, it's the pre, hello, for, for example, Scout Troopers. It's the, it's the first appearance of the Scout Troopers. Put one on there, please. I mean, jeez. So anyway, this figure, you know, I give the figure, you know, a 7.5, you know, because, you know, I think it could have been a little bit more appealing, and, um, you know, just with a couple little strange weapons, you know, the character's really not appealing, you know, they changed the name, too, so that's kind of a little bum out, but, uh, and all the figures okay. Um, um, but, yeah, and it's, it will go on the shelf, and I'm gonna start making room, because, Four figures um, has piled up enough space. So I have to start making room now for the other, I think, uh, like two figures in the way. I think there are. I'm sorry, I missed one. I missed a figure. 
I forgot about the Rebel Commando Trooper. I completely forgot about him. So add him to the list of the figures I was listing earlier. Um, so I'm gonna start making room for three more of the figures. Um, so yeah, this is Kenner Freak 7. Um, what a probably gonna be my last review until after Christmas. So, cause you know, I'll wait till get some, uh, so wait till after Christmas. So, you know, on Christmas Day, expect some reviews, you know, depending on what I get. Hopefully the AT, -AT Walker. That would be nice to put with my Imperial Army, which I have sadly taken down. I had to do some stuff there, but, um, so I'll put that, if I get the walker, I'll do definitely a huge review on that. I have to separate it, like, two parts. Um, so this is Kenrick7, thank you guys for watching, and may the Force be with you.